Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Louis Garage. So this is going to be a slightly different episode because we're going to be working on my C200 compressor wagon, uh, my Mercedes wagon. This car has been really really super reliable, I've had it for about 6 years now and the reason why we haven't had any content is because it's been really reliable, nothing's really gone wrong. Uh, I've changed the engine oil, I've changed brake pads, I've changed the brake discs, probably should have made a video about that. Um, but other than that I haven't had to do anything so it's probably been the most boring and reliable car that I've ever owned. Uh, so today I do need to do something to it and I'm going to show you what it is. It's a really common fault and I'm going to show you exactly what you need and how to fix it. Cool. Right so first things first we're going to pop the bonnet. Just over here. And there is the amazing M271 compressor engine. Uh, mine's a 2010 C200 uh, but because it's an early 2010 it actually still has the compressor uh, which is the supercharger down there. If you have a slightly later version then you'll see a turbocharger and a whole turbo system over here on the exhaust side. Uh, but yeah we have the compressor version but I believe the uh, issue is actually exactly the same no matter what version of the M271 you have uh, and it ranges all the way from you know the early uh, W202s I believe uh, to the W203 to this model which is the W204 so there's a whole range of C-classes and a few other cars that have this issue now the issue is these cam adjuster magnets and this is used for adjusting the camshaft for variable valve timing uh, and what I found during a bit of a routine inspection because I, I knew that this was a problem uh, on, on these cars it is a bit of a common issue what I found is that there's a bit of oil that is seeping uh, into this uh, into this plug here um, and that's because the seal inside the cam adjuster magnet has basically gone bad. Um, so we're going to be replacing the magnet itself. Uh, the We're going to plug in a little bit of a, an extension cable to stop the oil if it ever does leak um, going into the, to the, into the loom uh, and also a whole bunch of other things as well. So um, yeah, join me and we'll try and figure this out and try and fix this a small problem. So just undoing this plug, um, it's quite a long plug actually, you'll see that there is a bit of an issue um, and you know this car is now you know 12 years old so <laughs> you're kind of expecting a few little issues like this. Now I've already cleaned this up but you can see that there is a bit of oil residue um, and if I stick my finger up here into the plug you'll see that there is a bit of oil residue on my finger. Um, so it's just starting to weep oil into that connector plug, which is not what we want. Uh, we want that to stay oil free, um, otherwise the oil will seep into the loom and it could get into your ECU, it could get into a whole bunch of other places. Uh, I've heard of people having to replace their entire loom, replacing ECUs, you know, all sorts of stuff. So definitely it's something that you need to watch out for and you need to address pretty quickly. Um, so I'm just going to show you what you need to fix this problem now. Alright, well it's actually pretty straightforward. What you need is an E-Torx number 8, which is an external Torx, because these are not normal bolts, these are external torque bolts. Um, I've just bought a whole rail full of them from my local hardware store, and I've got the E-H socket on there, on my ratchet. Um, so you need an E-H uh, and a half inch ratchet. Um, you also need the cam adjuster magnets, obviously, um, the seals that go into the back of the magnets. So the seals go in there. Uh, I, I, I bought four just because you know I wanted to make sure that I had a few spare just in case. And then you've also got the plugs that go into the front of the cam adjuster magnets. Um, and we've also got the wiring loom extension um, just so that if it does leak it doesn't leak into the loom. These are especially designed so that uh, oil doesn't seep through uh, and doesn't get into your loom. And then finally you need some cable ties to tie the extensions to these uh, engine hoist points. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, first step was we're going to be taking these bolts off uh, and having a look um, inside this cam adjuster magnet. I'm just going to change both as well at the same time. Uh, it's kind of up to you if you want to change both or just one, but you know, they're pretty cheap. So I would recommend just changing both at the same time. Alright everyone, now it's time to take off the cam adjuster magnet. I did find that I had to knock it with my ratchet just a little bit, just to get it a little bit loose. You can see that gap developing there. Uh, and then it should just be a matter of wiggling it. There we go. And then it comes off. 
Simple as that. So yeah, that's what we'll be replacing with a new one. You can see the seal, you can see the plug. So yeah, it seems like we've got everything we need. Uh, we might just want to clean up that little surface a little bit as well before we put everything back together. Yep, so just give it a bit of a clean up around the mating surface or the sealing surface. Um, it shouldn't really be dirty anyway, but it's just good to clean it up just in case. Uh, just run your finger along it and then just make sure you haven't left any dirt um, on this little adjuster here. I'm going to get rid of all that dirt and um, then we should be good to go. Sweet, so you'll just want to seat your seal. Um, I've put, just put a little dab of oil uh, on the seal just to make sure that it goes in nicely and it seals okay. Uh, and then you'll want to put in your little bung uh, in the cam adjuster magnet. I have no idea why these things are separate. Um, it's actually quite hard to get in there. Uh, might have to use two hands there. Uh, but yeah, then after that we'll be ready to put in the new cam adjuster magnets uh, with the bolts that we just took off. Uh, I don't think the kit comes with bolts, so you'll just have to reuse the existing ones, which is fine because they don't um, get talked up very tight anyway. Alright, now we just need to tighten up the bolts, the Etox bolts. Don't do it up too tight, just hand tight is fine. It doesn't have to be too tight at all. Um, and then we just need to um, put the new harness extension on as well. Alright, we're just going to plug this one in. There we go, make it click. And then we're going to cable tie this connector onto here. You're all good after that. All right, everyone, now that we are all done, this is what it looks like. We've got uh, the new cam magnets, and we've got obviously the new seal and the new bung for each cam magnet as well. And we've also got this um, harness extension, uh, which will stop oil from getting up into your loom. Uh, mostly by gravity because you know oil has to actually travel up this way now uh, but also this plug apparently is made specifically to stop oil as well um, so the next thing is to start the car and make sure everything's okay all right well the very final step is to start the car and as you can see my car's done 143,000 kilometers already uh, so it hasn't exactly had an easy life uh, but it's been super reliable so let's see what happens Press the start button, down there, and go. Yeah, seems like it works pretty well. I uh, don't see any warning messages or any errors. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on it, make sure there's no oil coming out of it as well. Just double check that. Uh, and then, yeah, we should be good to go. So thank you very much for joining me on this slightly different episode with the C200 compressor. Um, like I said, it is a very common issue and you could end up having to replace your uh, wiring loom, your wiring harness, um, or uh, even worse, your ECU as well. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile doing this job if you can. Alright everyone, so that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for joining me on this slightly different uh, episode with the C200 compressor. Uh, like I said, it is a very common issue and you could end up with some catastrophic damage uh, just from a small oil leak, uh, so make sure you get on to that. Uh, and as I've shown, it's a really simple and easy to do DIY uh, that you can do in your own garage, in your own home. Um, I didn't even use my garage for this, uh, it's like the start of drizzling, so I probably should have started using my garage. Um, but it's such a quick thing that uh, I just did it all outside. So thank you very much, and I do have some more content on the Alfa Romeo 147 GTA coming, uh, so I hope you do enjoy that coming up very soon. Alright, see you later, like and subscribe, and watch out for the next episode!